Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. We're continuing to look at scripture passages that have to do with truth. And today we're in the letter of James, chapter 1, verse 18. And James is talking about what God has done for us, his blessings, his many gifts to us. And then he says in verse 18, he says, He, God, chose to give birth to us by giving us his true word. And we, out of all creation, became his prized possession. God chose to give us his true word. He chose to give us the truth of the good news that through Jesus we can be saved. Our efforts are not the issue. It is God's efforts for us. When we have God's word, it is truth. Everything that scripture says, we can take as truth. It is God giving it to us. So, how have you treated God's word? Have you treated it as something that, oh yeah, that's probably a, a valuable thing, you know, it doesn't hurt me to read it on occasion or to listen to somebody else talk about it? Or have you seen it as a treasure, as a gift from God, his truth that is for us so that we could have new life in him and that we could be his prized possession? You know, the very fact that God gave us his message of love and forgiveness and new life in him shows how valuable we are as humans out of all of creation. And with that value, God desires for us to know him more, to follow him more closely. And both of those are accomplished as we immerse ourselves in God's word. Not to just accumulate some kind of knowledge and then say, oh, aren't I smart? but instead to allow it to wash over us, to fill us, to transform us. As we rely on God more and more, we're going to experience the truth of his word becoming true as it applies to our relationship with him and our life in relationship to others. Celebrate this gift of God's true word that is given to us. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your love that led to enable us to experience a brand new life that's free from slavery to sin and instead can experience the fullness of a right relationship with you. And we thank you that so much of what we can gain in that relationship is rooted in your word that you have given to us. It's truth. And we pray that that truth will fill us and encourage us and strengthen and direct and guide us according to your best for us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So once again, in James 1, verse 18, he chose to give birth to us by giving us his true word. And we, out of all creation, became his prized possession. I hope you feel like you are God's prized possession today because you are. And he loves you very much. Have a wonderful day. God bless.